Have you ever felt that every time you finally get the hang of Microsoft 365 Copilot, well, something changes? Because yes, I hear that quite a lot. That's because Copilot is evolving all the time. And whilst that's really exciting, it can also be really overwhelming. One minute you're drafting an email with Copilot and the next you're wondering why a new button just appeared in Copilot. But here's the thing, most people don't know what's new or more importantly, what's worth knowing. So in today's tutorial, I've done all the hard work for you. I've pulled together the 10 latest features that are either available or coming to Microsoft 365 Copilot very soon. And I'm gonna show you how each of these new features can save you time and improve your productivity. We'll look at the fresh new Copilot chat experience inside of Word, PowerPoint and Excel. We'll see how Copilot now helps us find insights from documents. And plus, I'm gonna answer a question that's had many of you puzzled about Copilot and Excel. And before we head into Copilot, just wanted to say a quick thank you to TeamFlect, the sponsor of today's video. TeamFlect are an all-in-one performance management tool built into Microsoft Teams, and we'll explain why it works really well later on. But for now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's get started in Copilot. So the first big change coming to Microsoft 365 Copilot is the introduction of the Copilot chat experience inside of Microsoft Office. By selecting our Copilot icon from the ribbon bar, we'll now see an experience that we've seen before on the web or in Microsoft Teams. Yes, this Copilot chat experience can do more than just browse through its documents on the left, but of course it still provides those similar capabilities. For example, we can go ahead and ask our Copilot sidebar to summarize this document. And we'll then see in real time that on the right hand side on our Copilot sidebar, it now begins to summarize the document in further detail. So here it provides very similar capabilities as before. We can also create content in this sidebar to bring straight into our document. For example, let's now ask Copilot to research a little bit more around its development in London and also to consider how we should approach a new development. And we can now see that Copilots came back with these key planning considerations taken from the web and other sources. But at the bottom of the document, we can now see a plus icon to add this straight into the Word document. So by selecting this icon here, it now adds it straight into our Word document on the left hand side. So we can now see the tighter integration with Copilot chat inside of the Office apps that we use every single day. But it's important to note that this experience is also in Microsoft Excel. In fact, we can go ahead and open the Copilot chat sidebar. And as you can see, we can see the Excel data and also the chat sidebar. We can now ask Copilot as well to analyze this file and provide additional insights without writing a single line of code. And we can now see giving that prompt to Copilot, it can identify the settlement rate, the average invoice amount and overdue invoices and the behavior of all of our customers. And this is all taken from a spreadsheet on the left hand side of 100 rows of data. But many of you have asked me a question, which is around this capability, because you've also found that at least in this experience, it doesn't seem to work inside of your Excel file. We'll see this now. I'll go ahead and ask Copilot to create me a new formula column to work out the days that these invoices are overdue by. And by giving Copilot that prompt here, we can see it comes back and tells me exactly what formula would do the job. But what it won't do is insert this into the spreadsheet. It simply advises me how best I can achieve that. But why is that? That's because this Copilot chat experience is only providing that capability like we saw before in Teams and on the web. If you're using Excel with Microsoft 365 Copilot, select App Skills, and you'll then have access to the Copilot that can work with your files and insert formulas. If we give it the exact same question this time, we'll see a very different experience. And we can see that here. Instead of describing the formula, now we get the old experience. Here's the formula that could help. And we can also insert it straight into our table of data. So yes, before you give up with Copilot in Excel and get really frustrated, ensure if you want to use this capability, select App Skills from the drop down in the Copilot icon, and then you can work in your workbook and table with integrated Copilot capabilities.
And heading back into Microsoft Word and our Copilot chat sidebar, we can see that we had a question around how we should approach our development in London. But actually, this is quite distracting inside of Word. I'd like to now take it into Copilot chat and continue the conversation. Does that now mean we have to copy and paste to go back into Copilot? No, we can now click on the free dot menu inside of the Office app and select Open in M365 Copilot app. It takes us straight back into the dedicated Copilot experience on the web, and it also brings through the conversation we've just had with Copilot, so we can carry on and continue the conversation with Copilot outside of Microsoft Word or any other Office app. So next time you want to take your Copilot chat outside, just click on that button and do exactly that. Now I know that many of you use the Microsoft 365 Copilot Researcher, but you want to bring it into Microsoft Word. Is there an easy way to do that? With this new change to the Copilot sidebar by bringing in Copilot Chat does indeed enable this. Let's go ahead and open up the sidebar. Then selecting a the navigation panel, we can go ahead and select Researcher. And now you can see Researcher is directly integrated with Microsoft Word. Let's now give Researcher a topic or a question to create an executive status report on Project Greenspace. And then once the result comes back, but well, we're going to add it into our Word document directly. Yes, there'll be no need to copy and paste. And after a few minutes, we now have our report ready. We could read it through on the sidebar and understand a little bit more. But instead, we can go straight to the bottom of the report. Once again, we can select Add to Doc. And this now means that the research report is available inside of Microsoft Word. We could save it and share it with colleagues. And yes, that doesn't mean we have to copy and paste. So next time you want to use your researcher inside of Copilot, go ahead with the Copilot sidebar in Word and you can do exactly that. And there's a new way to work with Copilot with temporary chats. You can see here using Copilot chat that I've opened a new temporary chat. But how did I do that? Click in the drop down in Copilot chat and you can select from this option. However, do be aware that this chat here is indeed temporary and that it won't be stored in my chat sessions to come back to later, and no memories will also be stored in Copilot. But do note here that they will be retained and also available in the retention policy by your IT team. And yes, that's e-discoverable. So whilst you are searching to find a brand new job at a different company, do remember that your IT team could use it in e-discovery. So temporary is not really temporary. But of course, now you know that, you can decide whether it's right for you or to carry on using the standard Copilot capabilities. Using AI tools like Microsoft 365 Copilot can really help us all save time and get more done. But to be truly effective in the teams we work in, we also need to manage our teams with the same level of clarity and structure. And that's exactly where today's video sponsor, TeamFlex, comes in. TeamFlect is an all-in-one performance management tool built directly into Microsoft Teams. It can bring everything together for us, one-to-one -one meetings, goal setting, feedback, reviews and more in one streamlined space, without even needing to leave Teams. It's designed to help teams stay aligned, accountable and connected, especially in remote or hybrid workplaces and managing performance of your team can easily fall through the cracks. So if you want to get started today and combine productivity and performance, why not check out TeamFlect? And also, you can find a link in the video description below to get started for free. So now that we've improved your team's performance, let's head into Copilot and continue to find out what's new. And there's a new change in PowerPoint. Here we have some content on the slide deck. I want to change the tone of this text. While now highlighting and selecting the text box, we can select from the AI button and powered by Copilot, we can now make a change. Let's make this copy and text more professional. By simply asking Copilot that, it goes ahead and then updates this text. Likewise, we can select it again and select auto rewrite to also make a change to that text as well. We can even make changes by adding more content by simply asking Copilot to adjust the text in any of your slides. So next time you want to update your slides, either created by you or Copilot, there's no need to redo the whole deck and instead change your text and copy with Copilot. 
And heading back into Microsoft Word, many of you would see when you open a document, you have a Copilot summary that's available to you. This summarizes the content itself. But now also you can select insights at the top of your document. If your document has numbers or stats in there, it will summarize them into key points for you to understand. Alongside that, it even generates a suggested Q&A. Effectively, it allows questions in a document that's generated itself and provides key answers to it really quickly. This now means that you can get a good snapshot of what's in your document through the insights. But selecting summary, and then also selecting this button here, which is a speech bubble icon, it opens Copilot chat once again to also ask questions of your document. So that means you can use the summary and also the insights and Copilot chat to understand your document and get more insights from it. And there's now new updates to also create video in Microsoft 365 Copilot. Head over to your Copilot app and select create and then select create a video. And now go ahead and ask Copilot to create a video around your business process or your different needs. And I gave Copilot a prompt to create a video around workplace complaints. You can see here I could play the video. Scott, you wouldn't walk away mid-sentence. Maintain eye contact, Nord, and reflect. But in this new experience, we can now easily replace media. By selecting this button here, we can change the media and even browse to your own OneDrive to bring in video or media files to also improve the video further. And on the right hand side, we can also open the transcript and we can change any of the text generated by Copilot and just by left clicking into it and then over type it to also cover off what our process should be with any follow-up activities. With the transcript updated, simply click on update and now all we now need to do is click on play to hear the change that's been made in the video. Ask the customer for contact details so we can follow up in a timely manner. Remember, and as simple as that, we can now change a transcript in any of our Copilot generated videos or even replace media and more. And if you've worked with Copilot with different chat conversations and threads, you know how hard it can be on the left hand side here to try and figure out which conversation relates to what activity. While inside of the all conversations on the left hand side, there's now been an update that we can now see all of our conversations in a single list. All of our work and web chats are stored in one single place now. It also gives us the ability to search through conversations. For example, let's go ahead and search for Project Green Space, finding any of our conversations around that project. And we can see them all listed here. We can now go ahead and then open up any of these here and open them straight in our Copilot conversations. But also going back into the All Conversations tab, we even get the ability now to also segment these different answers by our different research or analyst agents, or even left click pages to see our pages content that's been generated from conversations. So if you need to get back to your Copilot conversations quickly, use the All Conversations tab inside of your Copilot app and then search for the content that you need. And finally, Microsoft's making a big change by now introducing a separate AI model we can use. This is currently only available in Researcher and some other experiences in Microsoft 365 Copilot. But as we can see here, I see a button to try Claude inside a Researcher. This button is only visible if your IT admin enables it. But why is that? That is because Claude does not come with the same data protections that we've used before with models provided by OpenAI, which is in turn used in ChatGPT. So yes, you may not see this option. If your IT admin enables it, well, of course, they must agree with the new policies around security. But of course, a lot of companies will not enable it for that reason. What's different though in Researcher when it comes to using Claude? Well, let's go ahead and give this prompt to Claude and I'll also give it to our existing OpenAI models. Do it a quick side-by-side -side comparison. And here we can compare the results. Claude is on the right-hand side. You can see the normal elements of researcher, executive summary, the key points, key wins and more. We also have the additional timelines and more detail. But actually, as we can see, this is actually a really good summary report, but there's not a lot of detail behind it. On the left hand side, however, this is generated by OpenAI, the existing models with Copilot, which do come with your data protections. We can immediately see a much more detailed researcher report. 
The only consideration though is that one doesn't work so well as an executive summary. I wouldn't like to share this with any of my executive team. This is a lot of information. So maybe in a way, Claude wins with the less and more specific information with Researcher. But we can see here, they're very similar in the results they're using. But of course, using Claude comes to those considerations around data protections. So that's something to consider before you go and turn it on. But we can see both Claude and OpenAI working in Microsoft 365 in different experiences. So there are a lot of new features landing in Microsoft 365 Copilot right now. But what stood out for me today was the improved Copilot chat experience across Microsoft 365 apps, which now lets us search the web, check our calendars, and get project updates, might even leave in the app that we're working in. So you can imagine drafting an email to a colleague about a project update and just opening up the Copilot chat sidebar to find out the update that they need without ever needing to leave Outlook. How much time can that save us? And maybe even more interesting is a new strategic shift that we're starting to see, with Microsoft now integrating AI models beyond OpenAI, like Claude. That opens up a whole new world of possibilities in the future. So I'm interested to see where that goes too. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve, don't forget to subscribe got even more tutorials coming soon on Copilot Teams and everything new in Microsoft 365. It's going to help you work smarter every single day. And before we wrap up, I just want to say a quick final thank you to TeamFlect for supporting today's video. If you're looking to manage performance and engagement across your team right inside of Microsoft Teams, don't forget and get started for free using the link in the video description below. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.